Hey Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tarot. Today's topic is what do you need to know right now, okay? Uh, this is a collective reading. It may or may not resonate with you fully. I want to say thank you for all of the likes and subscribes, tips and donations. Everyone that has purchased merch, including Oracle cards, it is greatly appreciated and goes back into the channel. Remember that tarot is fluid. This could play out past, present, or future. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you're seeing this, that's when it's meant for you. And you can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. Spirit. What can I tell Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising? Please and thank you. Recognition. Your money is looking good and solid. Whatever you are working on now will win you the respect of others. And you can learn a leadership position. Like you could earn a leadership position, but it's like you could learn something new here that could land you a leadership position as well. Or get the recognition, the recognition that you deserve. You could be really affected by the Mercury retrograde that we're going through right now. Um, I mean, I know some of you, it'll be long gone by the time you see this video too. But there is an energy of you being affected by love or something. I see you focusing on money, maybe having everything except love. Like seriously, we'll delve into it deeper. What else? Caution. Use caution when making financial decisions. Careful not to overspend on wants instead of needs. And then more going out than coming in. So it could be an energy of you getting recognition, your money solid and everything. And then you just start wilding out with your money. Spending shit, doing stuff, or have discernment and caution so you don't do that, okay? And have more going out than you have coming in, okay? What else? Growing up. It says it's time to step into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and care for you. This mess is yours to clean up. So it could be a situation that you need to delve into further. And it really could be financial, okay? Um, avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all of the skills you need to make your own. There is an energy of you not, okay, you coming into some money. You coming in abundance is fruitation. You're putting work towards something and you're seeing results from it. Spirit is saying, don't fall back into past behaviors of you spinning erratically. I really want to know why are you delving into this energy anyway? Beware. It's saying be prudent. Things are not what they seem. Careful who you talk to regarding money matters or business matters. Don't make any type of financial commitments right now. There's an energy of you being very cautious, um, not trusting people right now, okay? With this leadership here, it says it's time to step into the leadership role in your life. You can expect to succeed in any leadership positions. Your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. There is some type of level up that is taking place here. For you, Libra, someone arising. Okay, you're very cautious of it. You're very cautious about the people around you, okay? But so much that you could be delving into your own toxicities, all right? And you could start to spin just for emotional healing, like therapy, you know? Like, oh, I'm just going to go out and get some retail therapy. Or I'm going to go out and get something to eat or, you know, it says deliver your greatest gift to the world. Like you got work to do right now. You're stepping in this leadership role, okay? You're at a divine why point, okay? It's like, okay, this is it. What you're going to choose? It's like you can almost feel that energy. You can almost feel the pressure of needing to grow up and really face a situation head on and not just throw it all away. We have coming soon. Welcome to the next ascendant age. So like you um, ascending a ascending age. So it's like you make it through to the age of Aquarius. That's what we're in now. Okay. Going in that. And well, shit, we fully, de while I'm filming this, we're fully in that. Okay. Um, and I feel like the energies are becoming very 
potent, okay? Whenever you're seeing this, this is the energy, though, that's time-stamped. I mean, this is the energy I'm tapping into. So we have to acknowledge that I'm an energy reader as well. Um, pretty much that's that's what I do. I like the cards, though. Okay, very informative, very... Um, I like the display. I'm a I'm an artsy person, right? I got Libra in my moon and rising. Why I'm telling you this shit is probably because you need to know, okay? Like maybe you're like that too, or maybe you like art, or like maybe you're very expressive, okay? And you're going into an age of Aquarius where shit, what you speak is gonna come become your reality, okay? Uh, your greatest work is your legendary life. Like your legendary legacy, what you make in this lifetime, your 11-year-old self is like looking back from where you are now. What would you tell your 11-year-old self if you could go back in time and give yourself some fucking advice? Okay, well, what would you say? There is some type of dream within you. Libra, some moon horizon, and it's right there. And maybe you could be, for some of you all, is manifesting this afraid of success, afraid of close uh, relationships. It's like you're questioning everything around you as this Ace of Pentacles comes in. That's the recognition. You've done work already to get this far, obviously. But it's like to get to the next point after that, you got to get out of your head. It's like this money comes in and it puts you right into your fucking head. You don't trust nobody. You 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 feel like more money, more problems. You know, you got the world literally at your fingertips. There's a lot of birds here, but it could be some of them just in your ear. Like you need to cut off some people. And I see you knowing that and doing that and making a decision. But others... Of you could be also clearing out, like, um, not clearing out, but omitting out your ancestors and your guides as well. There is some type of clarity here. I feel like clarity on a decision that you make moving forward. That you're the magician shit. It's all on you. It's now or never, right? With the hermit, you go with the end. You are definitely withdrawn for a little while. You could be involved with the Virgo or just tapping into this Virgo energy here, some moon arising. But there's an energy of you going within, okay? Really working on your emotions, working on what will you accept from a relationship? What will you accept from an offer, okay? With the justice here, this is you coming out in your reading. You know that you've done the work. You know that you deserve this. I feel like some point in you second guesses yourself, okay, when you come together to celebrate. It's something about your inner child, for sure, for sure, um, with the next level of balance here or stability. Uh, get into the next level, yeah, because there is a moment of stagnancy where you're needing to work just a little bit longer, you know, maybe even a little bit harder, um, to really be disciplined, you know, in this decision that you make. And for some of you, it's hard for you to really be disciplined, um, because shit, some situation may be pushing you to the edge. I feel like you're going to do it. It's just shit for the next level. It's another boss level, right? It's like another boss at the end of that level and you have to overcome it. This is one of those moments. It says, now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future, you will synthesize your knowledge into action. Yeah. Okay. Really um, take time to learn from this shit. Okay. Sorry if I'm just cussing at y'all, but that's the energy. Okay. It says... As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. See? You come out of indecision and you just face it. Like, well, what do you want to do, Leo? I don't know, Leo. Same thing that we do every... Um, you could be a Leo, have Leo in your chart. I mean, I know I'm a Leo sun, Libra moon, and Libra rising. Some of you all could be the complete fucking opposite, Okay. But there is a Leo energy here um, 
I mean, it's not really in the cards, but it's in the leadership role. It's like stepping into confidence, okay? Facing shit head on because your potential is endless. Your blessings are endless. It's saying your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. If you lost a child, if you lost um, someone, you know, for some of you could have had miscarriages. Um, my condolences. Um, for some of you, it just won't even resonate because you're a man, okay? It is masculine energy here. It's not just only feminine, you know? Uh, but there is an energy of... You can be everywhere all at once. You may have to take a leap of faith, especially if you have children, you know, right now that you need to care for. And it's like you're not really trusting of people, you know? But I don't know, there is an energy of maybe you're not even with the person that you have children with and you're needing to trust them because, you know, you got work to do and you can't, you know, constantly hold yourself back. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me, Archangel Raphael. So there is an energy of you healing yourself, you trusting in the universe and the universe providing to you. You literally have all of the skills needed to co-create with the universe and manifest your reality. It says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. You have the tools to do so. You have the leadership qualities. Uh, you have the ability to go within and ascend to a higher consciousness, a better understanding. And you're right at that pivotal moment. Libra, sun, moon, arising. Just get out of your own way. See clarity and step up to the plate. If this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash the like button. I thank you so much for all of your love, support, tips, and donations to this channel. And today, peace and love.